Hey guys, Jaybird here, and we're going to be doing a cool little tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to set up a music easter egg, which involves usually three triggers of a teddy bear or a meteorite, and you would go around and you collect those, or you uh, go up to them and press uh, the use key on them. You'd hear a little noise, and then after you uh, found all three, then the music would start. So I've gone ahead and made the script for you guys, and set up the sound alias so you can just pop your sounds in there. I can't provide any of the sounds for you guys, but uh, I will have a download link in the description which will have this folder, little RAR file containing this, so uh, in the share section is going to have the sound alias, which I've called music, and if you haven't uh, done any of my previous sound related tutorials, I'll show you how to really quickly set that up. Uh, if you go to your map and you right click and go to uh, show zone folder, we can really quickly get to uh, your maps uh, folder here so it'll be black ops 3 user map you want to go back one step to your map and go to sound and you want to go to zone config and it's going to be zm your map name .scc. you're going to want to open this i'm going to have a i've already put up a sublime tutorial on how to op uh, make it so that this will read sublime or open it up in sublime by default but uh, i'll have a link to that in the description as well um, I've already got mine set up here, but basically, I have a few things in here that you pro if you haven't followed any of my tutorials, yours would probably look more like this. But every section that goes with an open brace and then a closed brace with a comma is a new sound alias. So this was one for my Claymore tutorial, this one's for uh, the weapons tutorial, and this is going to be the one for the music one. So basically, if you just copy one of the ones that say alias, so if you were starting off and you haven't had any of this it's going to look like this you're going to want to copy from an open brace to the closed brace to the comma right here so you want to get the alias one not the ambient one so then once you've done that uh you might if you have the extra ones in here it's fine uh this is just how you add more uh, so what we're going to do is just create a new line on the last one so i just copied this top one here you want to uh, create a new line uh on the last one that has a comma and you want to place this in here so it's the comma then your open brace and then close brace comma and the last two should be a square bracket and another brace so what i'm going to do is change this to music because that's the name of our sound alias so both of these will be music and just make sure that you've placed the music sound alias into uh the folder you should be able to just drop this right into both of these files actually directly into the, uh, the black ops 3 root folder so that's actually i'll show you where that is that's just this right here so you'll see there's share and map source so you can literally just drag this right in there it shouldn't overwrite anything because you don't have any of the files that i provided here so once you've done adding it into this you can hit save Control s uh, i haven't paid for this version so that's why i just popped up with purchasing for it um, but yeah so that's the sound actually set up for the sound alias so now your map's going to be calling that sound alias um, Another thing I'm going to include is the script, and I actually forgot to add that to the folder, so I'll do that right now. Um, but yeah, basically, this is what the script is going to be, and this is going to go in your uh, user maps, and it's going to be in your map name. So whatever you call your map, so I'm just going to call it your map. And then in there, it will be in scripts. And then in that folder, there will be a folder called ZM. And that will be the folder that you put your script in. So you'll see, for me, instead of it going user maps, your map, it's user maps, and then my test map, ZM test, then scripts, then ZM, and then I have it in there. So you'll have all your other, your your usual map scripts. If you've done the Claymore one, you'll have the Claymore script in there as well. Uh, so there's that. Uh, then what you're going to do here is we're going to just set up the script really quickly. So you're going to want to open up your map names GSC. So once you have it in your folder for uh, the Easter egg song script, you're going to want to open up ZM, your map name GSC. It'll take you to somewhere like this. And then what you're going to want to do is add a line like this. So you'll see all these usings. You want to go uh, the pound symbol using, and then we're going to put the directory. So it was scripts backslash zm backslash underscore zm underscore easter egg underscore song and then a semicolon so this tells our script our map script to use this script 
So we're kind of just showing where it was uh, to the script. So it was in scripts ZM and then it was called underscore ZM underscore Easter egg underscore song dot GSE. So if we go back to this, uh, same idea for the sublime thing. If you get it all set up after doing that tutorial, this should open up the GSEs as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, then you're gonna wanna add a line like this. As long as it's somewhere in the main, it should be fine. So somewhere in between these two braces, but I just have it, you know, relatively here. It could be before this line, it could be before whatever line you want. Uh, maybe make sure that it's after the main here. I think this might need to be called before everything. I haven't really looked too much into this one. But yeah, just somewhere in here, uh, put this line, which is thread, and then ZM, so you don't need the underscore because I called the namespace for this, ZM Easter Egg Song, so you don't need the underscore, so ZM underscore Easter Egg underscore song, colon, colon, in it, open brace, or open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon. So then that will now call the script. So, if you open up the script, I have a section here that you're allowed to edit, everything else I would suggest you don't touch. So the, what you have here is the first line is going to be the name of your song. So this is going to be in our sound alias. So for me, I'm, I ported over the, uh, what was it, the 115 song from Kino I think it was. So I'm just going to call the alias music, music 115. So that's going to be the name of my alias. So I'm going to put that name in the script alias. And then I, I've also left these ones as default. This is what I like to call them. So this is going to be uh, the trigger sound. So this is the sound when you go up to a trigger and you activate it. You're going to have to port these over as well. And then also Easter egg trigger loop sound. So this is the sound of like the looping noise that you usually use to hear where the teddy bear or meteorite is to kind of get an idea of where it is. So that's the looping sound. So that's the name of the sounds there. So once you've done that, you're good for the sounds. But then I've added this extra one here. This was something uh, somebody commented uh, asking about, and they wanted to have their Easter egg song be able to play over and over again. So what I have here is uh, down here, it waits until the song is over. And then once it's done, it's going to go back in here and it's going to check to see if our variable is true. If it is, it will set it all up again. And then, so basically, if you want the song to be played more than once, change this to true. But if you want it to stay the way Treyarch usually has it, then keep it as false. So this, as false, once the song is over, you the Easter egg uh, song will not reset. You can't go back, collect the four again, or three again, and uh, yeah. So if you want it to uh, be able to uh, get the song again once it's done, you can set that to true. But if not, keep it as false. So that's it for the script. That's actually just all those four lines. That's the only things you need to touch. Okay, so now that we've got that done, um, once you're in your Black Ops 3 root folder here, you're gonna wanna go to where we put the sound alias. So share raw sound aliases, and there should be the music one that we placed in there. So just open that up. And you'll see that we have three lines here. The first line is going to be our song. The second one's gonna be that looping sound. And the third one's gonna be that activation sound of when you actually hit the trigger. So I've already named mine Music 115. So when you get your script, it will look like this. One second, I'll open it up. So yours will say song and you can change that to what we changed it to here. So we changed it to uh, music 115. So you're gonna wanna go back to here and change the song to music 115 so it matches this. So this is what the sound is gonna call in here. And then this is gonna be where we put our, our sounds for this. So why don't we go, I'm going to assume that you've already got your sounds. Um, if you need to, I have a link in the description for a Black Ops 1 sound converter, so it can, uh, if you go into Black Ops 1, you can go into raw, and then sound, and then you can find all the sounds in here, uh, but uh, if you want uh, to convert the sounds, I'm going to have this tool, it's uh, Tom's uh, Black Ops sound tool, all you have to do, because the sounds are going to be in compressed format that only works in Black Ops 1, 
So you drag the sound onto here, it'll convert it over, and then you can use it. But then what you're gonna want to do is, let's say for instance, we go and get the, I'm gonna really quickly show you guys uh, where those sounds were for the activation sounds, because those ones are pretty, it took me a little bit of searching to find those. So if you go into, uh, I believe it's environment, and then zombie global, and then, which one was it? Meteor, right there, okay. So, Black Ops 1, Raw, Sound, Event, Zombie Global, Meteor. So these are the two sounds. So with this sound tool, all you have to do is drag it on. I've already done this, and it'll convert it over. So now the sound can be opened up in Audacity or whatnot. So when you bring it into Audacity, I can't really show you at the moment because I'm recording in Audacity. You're gonna wanna drag it on. And then in the bottom left corner, there's going to be, and I, I, I'll show you here. But I'm, this is my recording of my audio right now, but I'll show you. Uh, if you were to drag on your audio, and you come down to uh, the project rate hertz, you're going to want to change this to 4,000 or 48,000 hertz. Okay? So you want to export once you're done that, so it'll be export audio. You want to change the, uh, the format to a 16-bit unsigned. And then you also want to export as a wave. So once you do that, it should be in the correct format, and then where you can put your sounds will be in your Black Ops 3 root folder. You're gonna wanna go to sound, oh, nope, sound assets, sorry. And so for our sound alias, I have it in a music folder, and then your sound. So I created a, you won't have one here, but if you go Black Ops 3 sound assets, you can go create new folder and just name it music. And then I have have the three sounds in here that I've changed to the sound. So basically music, back, uh, backslash, and then I named this EE underscore loop underscore trigger, although the meteorite sound was named something different. It was meteor affirm and meteor loop, but I just changed the names because I felt like it. But yeah, so meteor loop trigger, or EE loop trigger. So that's in music. And then we have EE trigger. And don't forget to have the extension dot wave. You don't need to touch any of the stuff back here. Just change this, the, that's the alias name that's gonna be called in here, has to match up with these three. And then you also want to have your music or whatever folder you wanna call it. And then the song or sound dot wave, that's it. Once you've got that, so I'll show you right now, uh, this should be 115 and there we go. So those are done, you can save that, you can close that, you're all good, I'm just, because that's the tutorial version, I'm not going to save it. So it should look something like this once you're done. And that's the sound set up. Uh, you have the script set up. Now the last thing is our prefab. So I've also included a map source. So if you go to the Black Ops root folder again, and you, remember I said you can just drag these on, not the user maps one, because that one's specific to your map. So don't just drag that one on. Make sure you drag the contents of this into your maps one. But the other two you can just drag right on to the Black Ops 3 root folder. I've already got them in there, so I don't need to do that. But if you go to map source, prefabs, zombies, I've included this one uh, prefab called Easter egg uh, trigger. So if we went into our test map, what you're gonna find is it's a literally a prefab that contains two things, a model of a teddy bear, which you can always go in and change to whatever you want as well as a trigger, which you don't want to touch. Don't change the trigger. You can make it a different size if you wanted to, but don't change the values in it. Um, the nice thing about this script is there is no check for three triggers. What I've done is put in the triggers.size, so the amount of triggers. So you can actually place in as many of these as you want. You could place one, you could place three, you could place 10. But what ends up happening is Say for instance, this is one of them right here. If I could select it, uh, you'll notice the trigger. So you can place that wherever you want. If you want to change the teddy bear, you can go ahead and right click with it selected, go prefab, enter prefab, and then you can go ahead and select uh, just the bear and you can change the model to whatever, whatever you want here. Or you can go on into models and then select a model and double click on one and it'll change it for you. But don't touch the trigger. But that's basically 
it if you want to go ahead and uh, put 10 of these things it, it works perfectly fine all right guys i hope you guys all enjoyed the tutorial thank you all for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one see ya